Article number 11, Municipal Buildings number 3, North Hadley Hall Repairs. Move that the town transfer $9,895 from capital stabilization for the preservation and or rehabilitation of the cupola, the roof, and the gable on the historic North Hadley Village Hall. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motioned and seconded. Mr. Burke. Okay. This article is to address the repairs needed to keep the envelope of the building weather tight and intact. Even though there are other articles regarding this building coming up, it will take some time to relocate these services presently in the building. These repairs will protect the building from further deterioration during this time and until the fate of the building is determined. Thank you. Kirk Watley, 133 Huntington Road. Um, the historic North Hadley Village Hall. Why not community preservation funds? We put this in front of them and they denied this. Did they have a reason why they denied it? Uh, they said it was maintenance. They said it was maintenance. Lack of maintenance. Building maintenance, so it falls outside of the scope of the community preservation Correct. fund. Uh, Mr. Bard, I mean, Mr. Moderator, may I address a question to the town council? I'll just it through you. Through you. You, can choose whether, you, can, you can choose whether to pass it on or not. I actually am, am not going to allow that. If the, if the decision's been made there, they can bring that back forward if they would like to. From the, There's nobody here to defend the uh, CPA committee. They're not prepared here to defend that, whether yes or no. I, or they'd act, I don't, did they have a chance to speak to you regarding this in advance? I was seeking a legal opinion. If I can address it to you, you can decide whether to pass it on or not as the moderator. Yes. Okay. Um, my question, Mr. Moderator, is can community preservation funds in actuality be used for building maintenance for a historic building? That I will allow answer. Uh, if the building was not acquired with CPA funds, the answer is no. For, for routine maintenance, uh, there's a distinction between preservation and maintenance. That, that's the main issue. You can use CPA funds to preserve, but not routine maintenance. That's generally true. It's true as well for affordable housing. So if the cupola was in worse condition than it was in, in violating the integrity of the entire structure, then the CPA funds could be used. That's right. At some point, there, there's a spectrum. That's right. And we haven't just crossed that notch yet. Okay, thank you. I, I think, Mr. Wally, it has a lot to do with why it needs to be repaired rather than that it needs to be repaired. Sir. Uh, George Moriarty, tomorrow. Uh, I guess my question is, is they don't want to repair it, so if we took a vote to remove it, then they could pay to have it fixed and kept up there because it's a historic building. But that's what it sounds like. They just don't want to fix it, uh, fix the, re the cupola. If we had say, okay, we're going to take it off and just fix the roof that's underneath it, then they would pay to have it fixed and it wouldn't come out of our uh, stabilization account. I mean, it, doesn't make sense to me that uh, it, if it's truly an historic building that that money can't be used some way. Further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? The vote is 120 to 9, motion passes.